ready to dive into the cutting edge features of iOS 18 beta version 2. In this video, I'll explore the latest update, hidden gems and enhancement that Apple has packed into this exciting beta release. Whether you are a tech enthusiast or just curious about what's next, stay tuned to see how you can make the most out of iOS beta version 2. The official update is not released, but I will guide you how you can install step by step and how you can enjoy the features. To update your iOS to beta version, just go to Google and type Apple Beta Software Program and hit OK. You will see an option to sign up. Just click on that and sign up with your ID. After that, go to Setting, General, Software Update. Here we go. We got beta updates. Click on that. Update now. Give your passcode. Here we go, that's easy. After installation, you will see the uh, iOS 18 beta 2 version here. I installed on iPhone 11 and you will see many updates on iPhone 15 and the later version because most of the beta versions are there, but these are the cool features here on iPhone 11 as well. The real cool feature is now you can lock any app with a face ID before this option was not there. Just press and hold any app and you will see require face ID and you can lock as many as you want. The second real cool feature is arranging the icons. If you click this one and now you can drag it anywhere on your screen. In the meantime, let's say this is gallery app and if I want to choose this one, I can make it enlarge as well. You can make it as a widget uh, on the latest version. Now you can hold an app and bring it here in this position and just tap on the screen. Uh, they will not be rearranged automatically. And another cool feature is just press and hold and see the edit option here. Now you can add this app to widget or you can customize. Just go to customize option and here you can choose the dark mode or light mode or tint and you can make them large choose according to your own style let's say this is the style you like but if you want to go back you can go back to automatic and small one that's the automatic this is really cool feature and you have more customization in terms of changing the icons and widgets on your screen before you click and hold an app like that it wasn't giving you much of the options but now you have multiple options you can see there the top file view, window view, column view or whatever for the gallery app. Later we are going to come back to this option as well. So these are the really cool features. Now you have more customization there. Right now let's move to the real customization tool that is here in the control center. Before you couldn't customize this control center but now just click and hold and now you can customize anything. You want this place to be there or you want this one to be here. That's easy. You can customize according to your own choice and need. And if you scroll down, you will see a lot more options here. For the customization, you can add multiple options here and multiple widgets or icons or the tools you want to use on daily basis. And if you just go to this AirPlay mode and now you have AirDrop, WLAN, cellular data and Bluetooth and personal hotspot and more and uh, Apple is also saying that uh, for the latest version 15 and 16 if them um, if you are on flight mode like no network then you can send the messages through satellite so let's see in the future what's coming next so cool to have more customization there in the control center the next feature I like most is about the gallery now you can search photos with the help of text let's say i open my gallery and i want to search something at the top you can see search option here you can go search any text for example i search atik that's my name and it will show me all the documents wherever atik name is written so this is really handy if you lost some documents you can go check and the gallery is really customized for so many options like you can scroll like that and go there and go there check this one these are really cool features in terms of gallery and editing for example i want to edit a video just open the video like that you will see the editing tools here now you can edit stream the starting and ending part for a video if there is a photo you can do the same editing for the photos as well no this is really cool go to setting and you see that setting is itself very much organized with the new icons and features and style there is one more important thing that it was messed up in the past versions with the apps you could see all the apps here but now they have a separate tab for the apps 
Now you can go to click on the apps and you will see all the apps here. And if you scroll all the way down, you will see the hidden apps. I didn't explore much about these hidden apps, but you can still hide some apps. That's why the option is here. Now you can hide some apps. The tool focusing more on writing and communication that is in the later version because I'm using iPhone 11, so I can't show that. There are more options in that one, like related to Siri and other options. You can reply to the emails in the mail app. You will just have to wait. If you are using iPhone 15 and 16, you will have more stylized and more AI integrated iPhone there. Another cool feature will be there for the call recording. It was a long waiting feature. Android users can record a call easily, but now iPhone users will be able to record a call as well so wait for the updates and see if you are using an upgraded model of iphone and you can record the calls directly and transcribe them into text there is another noise feature in the setting it's not unfortunately available on iphone 11 but the latest version they have you just need to go to setting and accessibility here you will find the eye tracking you need to calibrate your iphone then move your eyes and it will click for you and it will calibrate and scroll for you with the help of your eyes movement so that is really a cool feature in the latest uh, ios models but unfortunately not on iphone 11 and 12 maybe that is not there as well all right so for the iphone 11 i can show you the app calculator that really changed if you open calculator before it was a simple calculator but now you see the little icon here just go to this option and now you can do the math notes whenever you click on math notes it will open this interface and these are the notes that will be saved on your notes app we didn't create anything but the notes app will sync these notes there you can also have scientific calculator here this is essential for the students those who want to use the scientific calculator so these are the few features i tried today and we will explore more and we are also waiting for the official update and release if you like this video then thumbs up and subscribe i'll see you in the next one bye